Starting a business is a major success for a lot of people, but maintaining that business is one huge of a tax for a lot of people as well. Many businesses face a lot of challenges day in day out, but there are some key ones that keep repeating themselves that once you're informed about and you're educated on, you can easily avoid them to avoid crashing your business. Hi there, I'm Edin Dela, a brand strategist and a creative director, and this is one of the most frequent questions I get asked from clients, which is, what are the causes of business failures? Now, there are a lot of them out there, but especially for startups, these are the top five that I've identified in my line of work. You know, I'm still learning and I'm still meeting a lot of challenges along the way, but these are the most five key ones I see keep repeating themselves and I want to share them with you and help you as to how you should avoid them as well. Let's jump right into it. On top of my list is client dependency. Now, I've come across business owners that depend on one particular client or two clients that run their business for them. Now, the downside to it is that, yes, they might be high paying clients, they might be clients that give you good offers and all that, but the downside to it is that those clients can easily turn on you. Those clients can easily reject you today. Those clients can easily turn away from you and go in for a better offer from a competitor. So if you build your business around just those people or those single clients or those uh, two or three clients that really pay you well, once they leave you, your business crashes because you forgot to build the client's base on a general publication or your target audience. You only build around those people because they end up paying you well. Or the other mistake I see is that once they get two or three clients who usually pay them very well, they start treating the other customers bad or treat them terribly, bad customer service, which really sucks customers away from them. So at the end of the day, they realize they are serving just two or three clients who are paying them well, and the day one of them or two of them decide to leave you, the business crashes. So if you're a new business owner starting your business or even running your business, don't do client dependency, don't depend on one client. The other thing I noticed or I've come across and learned around business owners is that most of, most of times you end up being fatigued. What do I mean by this? A lot of business owners, yes, I know it's a struggle starting your own business. I know you have to do most of the work yourself. But hey, we are in a modern world. There are a lot of people out there. There are a lot of freelancers out there that you can delegate tax to. There are a lot of people out there that you can schedule tax with. So you don't have to do everything on your own. You can delegate some bits, bits, bits of it. You might not have the resources to hire an entire team, but you have friends who can help you. You have um, freelancers out there that you can easily call on to, to do certain tasks for you. So you don't have to overburden yourself of doing everything on your own. Yes, if you can do it, it's good. But at the end of the day, you end up burning out. So learn how to delegate tasks to people. Learn how to delegate tasks to freelancers and partner with other people or other agencies that do certain things that you know you can do but you don't have the time to do so do all to partner with people that can do that for you even if it's for a small token go in for it because at the end of the day if you are fatigued and you can't be resourceful you can't be useful you can't be at your full potential you end up losing clients and you end up wasting your own time as well one other thing also is that most business owners start off with an idea now when starting a business, you have an idea, but that idea is not fully developed because once you start meeting your target audience or start meeting your customers, you might end up tweaking the business one way or the other. One mistake a lot of businesses do is that they ignore the creativity part of their business. You know, when you start that idea and start meeting customers, based on their needs, their demands, their feedback, you should be tweaking the business alongside. You should be tweaking the idea alongside. But a lot of people just focus on one thing. This is the idea I want to put out there. This is the product I'm putting out there. Whether it's good or bad, I'm putting it out there. And what you end up doing is that once you start ignoring your customer's feedback, you start ignoring the signs around why the product or your service you're offering is not performing, the business starts going down. It starts going down just like that. You don't know what causing it, but basically it's just that you're not listening to your customers. You are not tweaking the business to suit modern times. You're not tweaking the business to suit customers' demand as well, which really, if you don't suit your customers or you don't focus on your customers, you end up plummeting down. So do all to understand your customers, do all to listen to your customers. When they say they don't like A, B, C, D about your product, sit down, evaluate it, come up with a creative way to implement it or improve that particular option or uh, feature in there to help them also enjoy using your product or your service. And one major one I've noticed also is balancing growth and quality. Now, as the business grows, Sometimes, just yes, sometimes, not always, just yes, sometimes you have to balance your quality that you're offering out there and balance it with your growth as well. The higher the demand for your product, 
there might be just in case there might be that point where you would start optimizing your product a little to say because the quality or the quantity is higher and you have higher demand you want to reduce the quality a little and once you start doing that unconsciously what you end up doing is that you start reducing the quality of your product gradually once your demand grows and what you end up doing is if you are producing at 100 percent for your customers and because of that reason your demand is growing you end up reducing the quality small small so if it's let's say by 10 percent each time you reduce the quality just to make demands or cost of goods are going higher you end up reducing the quality of the product gradually at the end of the day what you end up doing is that demands become higher quality of product drops customers run away demand is gone and you now have low quality products that you can usually sell and at the end of the day breaks down the business so do all to avoid that in your business when you're balancing growth with quality make sure they all go hand in hand make sure you keep producing your quality content your quality services your quality product don't reduce that quality rather improve upon it and last but not the least money management a lot of business owners chop their money faster <laughs> a lot of business owners don't invest into their business once they start seeing a single cd or a single dollar profit they start enjoying that profit and forgetting that they are running a business and they need to invest back into the business until it reaches that stage where they are even with the business that the business can feed them and also invest in itself without running at a loss so a lot of business owners just start a business and once they start making their first second third profits immediately they start spending they start trying to live a lavish life start buying expensive stuff which is not really advisable when a business owner starting new rather what you should do is that when the profits start coming in invest it back into the business try and buy better gadgets try and buy better products for your services that you offer try and improve upon your product it is upgrading the quality to meet new customers do what to upgrade it to meet new customers do what to upgrade it to get in new customers as well so those are my five challenges that i sell lots of businesses face that really causes their failures as well there are a ton of them out there depending on the type of industry the kind of title the type of product I offer, the type of service you offer, which really affects businesses as well. But these are my top five that I've seen across all the platforms, across all the businesses I and the clients I deal with. It's not really the final, but knowing these five can give you clarity as to how to run your business into success. Well, that's it for this video. There's a video link up here as to how to grow your business as well. There's a link up here somewhere. <laughs> Do you want to click on it to go and watch that one? Well, that's it for this video. I'm Edwin Dela. On this channel, I share content on business, branding, productivity and growth mindset if you are new here do hit the subscribe button if you are an old friend share this video with a friend let them also see let's go together cheers